Hey guys, this is just another remake video on subtracting decimals. This time I'm going to go through this thoroughly and because I already have a video on subtracting decimals. So if you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and see that first if you would like. Because this video is just going to be a little thoroughly so that I can explain to you how to subtract them. I know how you guys probably already know how to subtract them, but when it comes to decimals, it can be a little tricky because of the decimal points. So let's just get started with this. Um, for example, most likely you get problems in horizontal form, so it's really important that you rewrite them in vertical form to understand it better. So if you have 72.9 minus 2.57, let's say, it's horizontal form because horizontal goes from left to right. Now you need to put it in vertical form, so you'll just rewrite this as 72.9, and now remember you have to line up the decimal points. The 2 would go here so that the decimal points could be lined up like that, 57. Now, I told you guys that where there are no numbers, it's really important that you add the zeros, especially in subtraction. In addition, it doesn't really matter that much, but in subtraction it does. So you have to add a zero here and a zero here. Now, since you can't subtract 7 from 0, you'll borrow 1 from 9. So now that became a 10, and now here you'll have 5, 8 left, sorry. So 10 minus 7 equals 3. 8 minus 5 also equals 3. And now you bring down the decimal point exactly because here are two digits and here are two digits. So you'll just bring it down. And now continue subtracting. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 7 minus 0 equals 7. So that means the difference of 72.9 and 2.57 equals 70.33. That's also another key there that if your problem, which most likely it will happen if it's in horizontal form, and you're solving it vertically, then it's important that you go back to your original problem and put the answer there because that's um, sort of a key there. So that's pretty much it for this review video, and I hope you guys understood this more thoroughly because I tried to go through them step by step. And if you still need to figure this out a little bit more about subtracting decimals, you can visit our site and there you'll find more examples on how to do these and you'll find more step-by-step -step instructions and we'll see you guys next time.